Hello everyone, welcome to Crochet Craft Ki Dunya. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a very very simple and basic beanie. So this beanie has been made for a newborn. You, it can fit up to a 6 month old baby. For this beanie, I have just put a contrast color, white color yarn to just give a small border. This is completely optional. If you want, you can keep it very plain and simple with just the pink colored beanie. I just put a border just to give it a different kind of a look. If you are interested, if for a baby girl especially, if you want to make it more prettier, you can use uh, any type of flowers. I have already made a flower, uh, this, but this flower tutorial has already been done in this channel. If you are interested, you can check the description for the box for the link. You can keep it in the same color or different color. So each time you use a flower or something else, it will just completely change the way the beanie looks. So for this beanie, I'm going to use 5mm crochet hook and 4 ply acrylic yarn. You might also need a darning needle to weave in the ends. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I usually make videos in Hindi. So this is the first time I'm making a video in English. Uh, so if you're interested to see other baby, uh, crochet baby items, I will put the playlist below. You can check in the description box. The video is in Hindi, but you can find the instruction and sometimes subtitles also in English. So we'll see how we can make this beanie. Let's start. So to make this beanie, I'm going to start with a slip knot. So this is how I'm going to do a slip knot. You can do the way you want. So first of all, I'm going to make a X, my finger, and then the working yarn, I'm going to pull it through this loop so here I'm going to pull this working yarn through this loop this is how I'm going to make a slip knot you can make the way you want so after you make a slip knot I'm going to make chain five five chain stitches I'm going to put so one two three four and five so once you get your five chain stitches I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch so this is my first stitch so I'm going to slip stitch into this. So I'm going to take the hook in here and then I'm going to pull the working yarn through both these loops. So this will form a slip stitch. So if you see, I have got a circle here. So I'll be make, uh, working in this circle. Uh, instead of chain 5 and making a circle, you can also do it with a magic circle. But I'm not doing it because I want to keep it very simple, especially for beginners. So here you have a circle now I am going to put chain two one two so this is my chain two after this I am going to put 12 double crochet inside this circle you just keep the chain two like that only leave it and start putting 12 double crochet so for double crochet you have to yarn over and inside the circle you have to put a double crochet here you have three loops yarn over pull through the first two again yarn over and pull through the last two so this is your first double crochet one more double crochet yarn over insert the hook in your circle pull up the loop you have three loops yarn over pull through the first two again yarn over pull through the second two so this is your second double crochet now i'll put the third double crochet and while doing this if you see this is my yarn that I have so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this like this and yarn over it so that uh, I don't have to weave in later so I'll put it like this hold it together and then start putting my double crochet so like this I'll put 12 double crochet inside the circle I'll show you once more how to put a double crochet this I'm holding it here with the circle and then yarn over inside the circle you have to take you have two loops yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the second two so what I'll do is I'll complete 12 double crochet and then meet you so you see I have put 12 double crochet and now I have to join this round for that you have to take your first double crochet if you count it I'll just show you once this is my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and this is my 
ट्वेल्थ वन ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव योर चेन टू यू हैव टू इग्नोर योर चेन टू एंड देन पुट द स्लिप स्टिच इन योर फर्स्ट डबल क्रोशी डोंट पुट इट इन योर चेन टू बट यू हैव टू स्लिप स्टिच इन योर फर्स्ट डबल क्रोशी दिस इज माई चेन टू एंड दिस वन हियर दिस वन हियर इज माई फर्स्ट डबल क्रोशी सो आई एम गोइंग टू एंड इफ यू सी देर इज अ वी स्टिच कमिंग हियर ऑन टॉप okay so here i am going to slip stitch into the first double crochet so this will complete my round one now what i have to uh, say is i have started with chain 5 and then put this if you put it with a magic circle you will not get this kind of hole but i thought magic circle will be a little above for the beginners but surely you can go ahead and do with a magic circle and do the same thing you start with chain 2 and put 12 double crochet so this is your round one now we'll go to round 2 so here again we are going to start with chain 2 the reason why i start with chain 2 is that uh, the seam after you complete it the seam will be a little invisible if you take this if you put usually uh, what people do is you they put chain 3 and then count it as a double crochet but when you do that the seam is quite visible if you do if you make chain 2 uh, and not count it as a stitch the seam is a little bit invisible so okay we'll start again with the round 2 after you put chain 2 uh, where you, where you have slip stitch that stitch i mean the the chain 2 before that we have put a slip stitch this is the gap there you have to make two double crochet in that stitch so for double crochet yarn over and where you have put the slip stitch in that first stitch you have to put two double crochet so this is my first double crochet and in the same gap i am going to do one more double crochet so yarn over in the same gap i am making one more double crochet okay so in round 2 you have to put two double crochet in each stitch okay so this is my next stitch if you see it it is a v so in this one i have going to put this is my stitch in this one i am going to put two double crochet so this is my first double crochet and in the same stitch i am going to make one more double crochet so two stitches two double crochet in one stitch now come to the next one this is my next stitch here this one here again i am going to put two double crochet so like that i am going to put two double crochet in every stitch if you just split it open you can see that in one stitch two double crochets are going so i complete this round and meet you you have to put two double crochet in one stitch so we had started with 12 so in the round 2 it will be double so in round 2 when you finish you will have 24 double crochet so i'll just finish and meet you okay here i have completed my round 2 and uh, in case if you are confused whether you have to put it whether the last stitch has been covered or not uh, you can just confirm it by checking whether there are 24 stitches you see where your chain 2 goes you don't have to again put two double crochet i'll just show you so if i am taking it like this you see here there is two yes so 2 4 6 8 10 here you have again two 12 14 16 18 here you have again to 20 22 and you have your 24 and after that you have your chain 2 so this round has 24 double crochet okay now to finish this off i am going to slip stitch into my uh, first double crochet this is my chain 2 i am going to ignore that and here is my first double crochet so on top of that here the stitch this is my first double crochet here i am going to slip stitch and join so this uh, finishes my round 2 now i am starting the round 3 i am again going to start with chain 2 so every round i'll start with round 2 and i'll just ignore that okay so here i have my round uh, chain 2 now in this round it is the stitches will be 2 1 2 1 that is in one stitch i am going to put two double crochet in the next stitch i'll put just one double crochet so we'll start where we have put the slip stitch so this is my place here is my first stitch so here i'm going to put two double crochet so one 
sorry i'll just do it once again so in the first stitch i'll put two double crochet one and here itself two so two stitches go in one stitch and here you have your next stitch okay this is my next stitch here i'll put only one double crochet so here goes my one double crochet in the next one i'm going to put two double crochet if you see there is a v here this stitch here i'll put two double crochet so whenever you put two double crochet it is called an increase so here you have two double crochet first and second two in one stitch and in the next i am going to put only one double crochet one double crochet in the next two double crochet this stitch this is my first double crochet and in the same stitch i am going to put one more so two double crochet in one stitch and in the next stitch i'll put only one double crochet here one double crochet so two one two one like that i am going to repeat it and i'll meet you once i have done so here i have finished my round three and when i'm finishing my round three i should have a uh, 36 double crochet i'll just count with you and it should end with one single double crochet i mean the second last stitch will be two double crochet and the last stitch will be a single double crochet stitch okay so now if i count you can i'll start from here one here you have two stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 and 36 and after that i have my chain two so i should have a total of 36 double crochet in round three now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet of the ignoring the chain two I'm going to slip stitch in the first double crochet so here for uh, slip stitching I have to pull my working yarn through this and this loop okay so here is pulling through first and pulling through my second so this is my slip stitch and this is my round three now I'll go for round four again I'm going to start with chain two one two here also I am going to increase. Here the stitch pattern will be 2 double crochet, 1 double crochet, 1 double crochet. I will show you. It means that in the first stitch I am going to put 2 double crochet. Where I have slip stitch, in that same stitch I am going to put 2 double crochet. This is my first double crochet and this is my second double crochet. So 2 double crochet in one stitch. In the next stitch only 1 double crochet. And after that also one double crochet so here it is two one one after that again two double crochet in the next stitch this is my first and in the same one I am going to make one more double crochet so here I have got two double crochet in one stitch and in the next two stitches I'll put only one double crochet okay so one double crochet here in the next stitch also I am going to put only one double crochet so this is the pattern here I'll just show you this is my chain to ignore it first double first stitch you have two double crochet after that one double crochet and one double crochet after that you put two double crochet then one double crochet and one double crochet I'll do once more so one double crochet one double crochet over so in this next stitch two double crochet will go one and in the same stitch I'm going to put another so it will be kind of a v if you see it sorry just messed it up so one one here it should be two you can always go back and check how much it is so this is like a kind of a v when you put two double crochet in this one so here it is two in the next two it will be just one double crochet and one double crochet one double crochet one double you can keep checking back if you have any doubts so see if you pull it you can easily see one double crochet one double crochet and if you pull this you will have two double crochet 
so in this next stitch i'll have to put two double crochet so like that i'll just finish this round and meet you once it is done so here i have completed my four rounds and uh, in round four i have a total of 48 double crochet so please make sure that you have 48 double crochet so and also your last stitch should be one double crochet see here it is two double crochet one double crochet and one double crochet it should end in one double crochet okay so this is how it is so 48 double crochet should be there in round uh, four you see two one one again two one one like that i have done it so here i'm going to slip stitch this is your chain two i'm going to ignore that and these are my two double crochet so i'm going to put it in the first double crochet and slip stitch so here i'm going to slip stitch and complete round so this completes the base for my newborn beanie and if i have to measure this this will come around 4 inches. So this is my base for a newborn. If in case you are making for uh, 6 to 1 year, you have to increase one more round. I'll just say how it is. You again start with chain 2. And for for a one uh, till 1 year, for six to one, 6 months to 1 year, you start with chain 2. Then in the first stitch, you are going to do 2 double crochet. And in the next 3 stitches, you are going to do just 1 double crochet. Then two double crochet and then one, one, one. So here in round four, it was two double crochet and one, one. In the next, if, if we are doing for one more round, it will be two double crochet and one, 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 one. Again, two, one, one, one. Like that, it is repeating. If you are making for, uh, say, for one to three years, you will have to do, after round four, you will have to again do round six till your base. And round six will be, chain two then two double crochet then four times you have to do only uh one double crochet so two double crochet one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet after that again two double crochet and four times you have to so each time you are going to increase like that so once you get your base so this is my base once you get uh, for one year you have to do round five that will be your base and for one to three years you have to do two more uh, five and six row and that will be your base once the base is finished you will go for the height that is you have to pull that uh, that kind of basket kind of a thing where you have to push it down your head that part we are going to do so for that it is very easy you are going to put one double crochet in every stitch from now onwards so you're just going to make this kind of a bowl kind of a thing okay so we'll start again as usual with chain two one two and after this it's very simple you have to put one double crochet in every stitch so here itself this is my first stitch see here is my first stitch where the slip stitch has been done that is my first stitch and here i am going to put my first double crochet so one double crochet in every stitch no more increases come to the next one this is my next stitch here i am going to put only one double crochet again one double crochet in the next stitch it's very simple there is no more calculation involved that means in round four i had 48 double crochet in round five again i'll have 48 double crochet we are just going to put one double crochet over every stitch so if i am if if i had sorry if i had 48 double crochet in the previous round this round also i should be getting 48 double crochet so keep putting one double crochet see here i'll just show slowly this is my next stitch you can see the v here i'm going to put a double crochet like this and every stitch i'll put one double crochet so i'll just put one double crochet in every stitch and meet you so here I have finished my round 5 and if you see if it has already started to fold down. If you see it has started curving. Till round 4 it was a completely flat base. Now it has started to curve. So this is what we are looking for. So I have made 48 double crochet, 1 double crochet on top of every stitch. Now ignore the chain 2 and in the first double crochet this is my chain 2 and this is my first double crochet so in my first double crochet 
I am going to slip stitch. So if you see, it has started to fold correctly. Okay. Now this is what we are going to do again. We are going to chain two and we are going to repeat the round five. Okay. So I might probably do this one till round level. That is you have to now find the height. So if you fold this like this, this should be around five and a half to six inch for a, you can go five and a half, five and a half to six for a newborn baby. So I'll just keep repeating the round five, just start one round six just to show you. So here I have put, one second, this is a slip stitch and I'm going to put chain two. One, two. Make sure that you have 48 stitches. Don't increase it. Otherwise, it will go some wider way. It should be 48 in every row to get that curve. So here you have chain two. You put one the first double crochet where you had slip stitched it. This is my first double crochet. And then in every stitch, you start putting one double crochet. So this is one double crochet. In the next stitch, again, you put one double crochet. So you keep repeating this rows for probably I think till row 11 you might have to do. I'll just do it and then show you how many rows I have finished. I'm just going to repeat the round 5. That is in every stitch I'm going to put one double crochet. Okay. So I'll just complete a few rows and show you. So here I have completed the beanie. I had actually gone till row 12 to get 5 and a half inches. You might have to go... 11 12 or 13 that you decide how much you want so try to make the beanie from five and a half to six inches so this is my beanie now just this is the basic beanie but uh, i thought i'll just show you something else like if you want to just give it a different look like i'm just going to put a small white color border you can keep it as such and put any flower that you have that can also be done but I just wanted to show some difference that it will make if you use a different color yarn uh, to give a border the look will just change instantaneously so I'll just show you if, you if you want you can do this or keep it just like this so I have just taken a white color yarn and just first of all attach this yarn anywhere in a double crochet so I'm just first of all slip stitching and attaching the white yarn that I have you can use the same color, different color, whatever you want. And I'm just going to first of all do a chain one. Now in every stitch around, I'm just going to put a small white border with a single crochet. So for single crochet, you see, you take, you go to this one, a double that the double crochet that you had made earlier, and pull up this yarn. Now you have I'm going to put a single crochet. Now you have two stitches, pull through both of them. Pull through two loops, sorry. Once again, insert your needle. Now you take the working yarn through this loop. Now you have two loops, yarn over and pull through both of this. Like that, if you do a row of single crochet, you can do one row of single crochet or two rows of single crochet. So it will kind of, uh, what do you say, give a kind of a border to it if you like it. Or you can keep it simple. I'll just put this and show you how this looks. I'm just going to put a single crochet row full. So here I have put a border with the white colored yarn. All I have did is I've just put one single crochet in every stitch. If you want, you can go, uh, in, uh, you can just repeat the single crochet row for two or three times. So you'll get a thicker border. You can also do white, pink and white. So every time you change it, you might get a, a different look or design you can also if you are making it for a baby girl you can place any kind of flower that you have that will also be looking very pretty the tutorial of the flower i have already done in the channel you can find the links in the description box and also in the i button uh, this might be in hindi but i have try i have uh, put english subtitles and also the instruction of how to do this flower so you, if you are interested, you can check that out. And also you can check the different types of baby items like the mittens or booties, whatever you do for small kids, sweater design. Uh, it might be in Hindi, but as I've said, you might find instruction in English. Hope you like this video. If you found this video to be useful, please like this video and share this video. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Until next time, bye. Thank you.